Hi, John Peake here with your Paint Pro Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a piece of metal and make it look like old copper. It's a lot of fun. We're going to be using three products from Fine Paints of Europe. This is the metal primer. This is necessary to make sure that the acid and finish don't eat down into the metal and create uh, discoloration. So that's a primer. That's the first coat that goes on. And then the second coat is from Modern Masters. This is called Oxidizing Copper Paint. And when you go to the store to get this stuff, make sure with all the various colors they have in different metals that you get the one that says Oxidizing. Otherwise, it does not change color when you put this on, which is the green patina solution, which is basically an acid that you put on to the put onto the surface while the oxidizing copper paint is still wet. Okay, we're going to show you how to do that. Now here I am over close to the bench. I wanted to show you how I'm using paint sticks on some cardboard to lift the items up so that they don't stick. You don't want them sticking to the paper or to your uh, whatever surface you're painting on. I'm going to put on the metal oxidizing paint. Uh, and you notice here, I got started here, how nice and bright the copper is. Now while that's still wet, I'm going to spray it with the patina solution using an old spray bottle that I have here. And we'll be back in just a moment after I get these all coated. It's important that they still be wet. So you don't want to do this out in the direct sunlight. You want to do this where it can stay wet for a period of time until all your items are ready. And then you spray it with the patina solution. And I'll show you that in a moment. Now here comes the fun part, gang. I'm going to take the patina solution over these freshly painted surfaces. And the acid's going to react with the copper uh, that is in this acrylic paint. So watch. Putting it on here. Takes a few moments to work. Got to be careful that you don't get this acid on your hands. And there we go. We'll let this sit for a few minutes and see what we come up with. And here's the final result. You can see this is still wet and reacting, but over here it's dry. This is the way it will remain now. You can go over this with some clear to help protect it a little bit more, uh, but I have found that uh, with this system we're able to get uh, seven to eight years out of the, uh, the metal. And that is your Pro Paint Tip of the Week from John Peake at Peake Brothers Painting. Thanks for watching.